Whistle is the story of a young Jewish teenage activist living in a small area of Gotham City called Down River, who first gets sucked into the Gotham City underworld and then discovers superpowers and has to reevaluate the direction her life is going and whether she can be a hero to her neighborhood. DC invited me to invent a superhero and they knew that I was a fan of the Gotham City Rogues Gallery. So that was just an option. Do you want to put her in Gotham City? And I said, absolutely, yes. The Down River neighborhood is a lot like New York City's Lower East Side was in uh, the 1980s. And the Lower East Side is a traditionally Jewish neighborhood with a huge amount of Jewish heritage and culture that's still there, even though now it's populated by all different kinds of people. Well, Willow is growing up in Gotham City uh, with a single mother, which is how I grew up. And she's a secular Jewish person, which is how I identify. Um, but I was really inspired, not so much by my own life, but by activist teenagers and also just uh, young people I know in my own life. And they are out there making a difference publishing zines, protesting, uh, trying to make uh, good change happen in the world. And I wanted to write a character like them. Whistle superpower is a dog related superpower because that is the superpower that I would like to have. Uh, when I imagined the fun of becoming a superhero, I thought basically the best thing would be to have a large, talking, great dame with whom to do superheroics. Manuel Pretano is just, he's like my favorite person that I've never met. He is in Italy and we did everything by email and Pinterest. And what Manuel's superpower is, is that he brings an incredible amount of emotion and heart to Gotham City. And I think people will be surprised to find out how much they care about, let's say, Poison Ivy and the Riddler, as well as the hero characters. Well, Poison Ivy is really interesting to me because she is fully a villain who believes herself to be a hero. And, you know, her aims, you know, to end climate change, to create more space for plants on our planet, right? Uh, all of the ecological things that she cares about are actually really important to many, many people. She's just a terrible person and goes about it in terrible ways. She's also interesting because she's very educated. She's a PhD botanist, and she also has a tragic history. So I took all of those elements and I just leaned into them to create a character that my heroine, a teenager, might really admire when she first meets Poison Ivy. I had a lot of fun writing the Riddler. Um, he serves as a mentor figure to my heroine, and he has a complex new backstory that I invented for him. I really leaned into how much I think I might like hanging out with that guy and uh, how alluring his personality might be.